Hello guys and welcome to the show that doesn't have a name yet where I tell you hot takes, tough questions, strong opinions and answer the best ones voluntarily. This week we had a focus, La Musica. If you would like to get involved in the next one, be sure to follow me on one of these. Yeah. Hello. Excuse me. The weekend is the best. Period. No. Never been a weekend fan. Me either, you know. Never. It's just period not that much of a weekend fan. You don't know a trilogy? Because he has a voice like Michael Jackson and I, rather, I prefer the songs when he tries to emulate that. When he's doing the whole wine thing, I don't really enjoy it. It's just it's bitches really love him though. Yeah, mm. I know. It's not really for me, but you know the, the advert he did when he was like, no, it's a music video. We had his face like all puffed out. And shit. Yeah, and people thought that shit was real. Was it real or not? No, oh, it's okay. just plastic surgery. Man. Right. Well, not plastic surgery, like you know. Prosthetics. There needs to be a in Paris too. Like oh, a just... remix version. Like a new Kanye West, the crazy Kanye West. Kanye West and Jay-Z, again, now. I think that's kind of lightning in a bottle. I don't know if that's happening again. Yeah. Yeah, and in Paris is kind of... it was a one-off. FKA Twigs and Brent Fires, like a joint album. Who's, who's FKA Twigs? Because that sounds like a crazy name. Yeah. FKA Twigs. It Where's is. he from then? It's a girl. It's a girl. Where's she from then? A rapper or a singer? Singer. She bad. <laughs> that's the important <laughs> question. Voice is, would I... She looks freaky as hell though. She's on the Yeah Yeah album, I know that. She is? Yeah, she's. I thought this was Will Smith's song. No, 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 no. Will Smith's song? Bro, does this not sound like fing James Smith? <laughs> no. So, Jaden Smith, not Will Smith. You're not talking about Willow Smith. Willow yeah. Smith. Oh. <laughs> you look know, the whole family. Oh, like. Jaden Smith? <laughs> yeah. Uncle like Phil. <laughs> Anything with Brent Fire. You know what I want from Brent? What do you want? I want him on more hip hop features. I mm. think him on some hip hop hooks. Yeah. Him on that one with Drake? Different. With Drake, with mm -hmm. what else did he have? Yeah. Tyler the Creator. The yeah, Tyler the Creator, mm -hmm. um, ASAP Ferg. Like, mm -hmm. bro, he got like, he needs to be on more hooks. Tyler Dolla Sign bring out a whole album just featuring Yeah, shit. just pretty much just featuring that's what, shit. Brent, that's what Brent should do. Hey, you just f***ing schlapping. Put your mouth dry as f***ing. Isn't it, man? Drink yeah. some water. <laughs> The fact that Drake got a ghostwriter don't stop him from being the goat. I got anti Drake agenda anyway. He's not my goat. He's I, my goat. To me, there is no denying that Drake has like had a massive impact on our culture and our generation. Like he's a hit maker. There's no, no doubt. Bite. What's the but? But one like he flow bites like crazy. What does that mean? Do you know how many bars oh, this man has bite. stolen? Just like a massive culture vulture. Just because it's popular doesn't mean it's good. Culture vulture. We're talking about the music. Any album you can go to. His music slaps, cuz. Drake, honestly, whatever he does take from, it's not like he's taken from and springboarded and given it a new sort of flavor. It's just, yeah, give me that, and I'm just add a little bit of Drake to it. And it's just like, <laughs> eh. How many artists do that, though? When you think about in other fields, like, just like, uh, design or... Yeah. All right, for sure, but we're talking about your goat. If that is your goat, then cool, but that is not my goat. Like, my goat, like... Okay. It's, it's purely unique to themselves. Yeah, and even if they're taking from different... So who's your goat, then? For this generation, on the spot, I think it's yay. Because to me, I can go to every single Kanye album, and it is something different, mm. it's something unique, and it's something that's pushing the genre, but it's Drake, and it's just like... So you think, you don't think, it just sounds the fucking same. You don't think Ye had one album that was just like a flop? No, not that say it's bad. I don't really appreciate Jesus is King, and I don't really like 808's Heartbreak, but it's still doing something for the music, and a lot of people appreciate those albums. But surely your goat, you would think they're the greatest of all time, like, by definition, you like all that shit, no? Nah, not necessarily, bro. I expect my artists to evolve and move in different directions and try new things, and it might not work out. Like, I really f*** with Kid Cudi. Mm. But he's had two awful albums. But again, I still appreciate everything that he's done. And like he's tried to move in a different direction and try to do different things. But if you just keep phoning it in, it's just it's just. I mean, I guess it depends what you what appeals to you. That whole they think that looking into it, in, you're, you're looking into it too deep for like the trying to push the genre. Like, bro, I can put any Drake album on, and I know that it's gonna slap. I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling like. I, never, fever, I never have those days. Teenage Fever, Passion Fruit, that type of vibe. Oh, okay. 2016, let me bro. Go to, <laughs> let, me go to, let me go to Views. Mm. I can just play that album front to back. But, okay, so there you go. I never have that feeling with Drake. If I can wake up and say, like, I feel like listening to such and such today, like, mm. you're a guy I appreciate. There's never been a day where I'm going to just listen to Drake all day. I just don't have that. Right. Question. The UK music scene is the worst it's been in ages. Artists make songs with a six week lifespan, quantity over quality, and nothing memorable. It all sounds the same. Who's that here? They woke up and chose violence. 
felt offended just by hearing that. A lot. You didn't even make the music. <laughs> no. Go on, what's your, what's your take? <sighs> I'm not a massive UK uh, scene guy, but it feels like that old, that kind of old head, like, hip hop ain't the same, da da da, rappers don't rap the same. Bro, you're just not looking hard enough. Like, you're just like looking at like, a tiny part of the music scene and because one song that you don't like or a couple songs that you don't like is popular you think that is the whole of the genre but can I see the question again? I think he's just saying music is just a little bit just like it's got no substance you know it don't last like how many times music's dropped how long do you listen to it for? well that's with, that's been with all, every music I just I, have, I go through a phase where like I'll, bla I'll have it on repeat for like a few weeks and then I'll overplay it mm. and move on to the next thing. But you never revisit Isn't it that life? ever. Isn't that how life works? <laughs> yeah, like, but how, play Danny, 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 how often do you listen to When I See You? Put it that way. Oh, mate. <laughs> you can't compare. So An apple or a banana. Like, you can't compare the two. I mean, I disagree. I feel like he's stuck in the past. Whoever that is needs to move on. Hamilton is overrated. You ever seen Hamilton? Oh, my sister loves that shit. She's I've never see seen She's Hamilton. Going... I watched like a little bit of it. From what I saw, it looked cool. It looked like a cool concept. I feel like it's, it suits a certain demographic. What demographic do you think it suits? Well, I guess like teenagers, like young female teenagers. From my experience, anyway. Like my sister and all her, fr all her friends and stuff, love it. Bro. Baby Keem be rapping ass sometimes. To that specific statement, I agree, mm -hmm. sometimes. But that's a lot of rappers. But especially in this, this, day, in this and day and age, bro. But it's not just about the lyrics, though. Mm. It's about the whole vibe. It's about where you are, who you're with, how loud is the volume? Do you have your headphones in? <laughs> Do you have a good bass speaker? Yeah. Like, you can listen to one song on some <laughs> headphones on a low volume, you'd be like, this shit is trash. You listen to another song, you're with all your man them, you got a couple of drinks popping. You don't give a about what they're saying. It's just like, that's a vibe. Mm. A lot of his music, I feel like, that's a vibe. Yeah, he'd be rapping shitty sometimes. Like, I don't think that makes him a bad rapper. That's a rap. Tell the people where they can find you. You can find me at Danny Number Four Evans on all platforms. You're 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 done.